So as you entered the house, the living room was on the right, the kitchen, and then we entered the bedroom, which was a king-sized bed, and it also had a fireplace, which was a nice feature. There was a lot of woodwork throughout the cottage. This was also really nice. And there was also a fairly large bathroom. So we stayed at Cottage Bear. I think it's the biggest cottage they have. Um, the deck was really nice. There was a picnic table and they provide a barbecue and a propane tank. Uh, you don't have to pay for that. It's included in the price and we were right on the water. There was a little path that we took down to the beach area. So it definitely wasn't sandy, but it was still really nice. There was a fire pit area with some chairs and another sitting area. And also that is Cottage Falcon, I believe, above. Uh, the kayaks are stored over towards the right inside the tree area. Uh, all the kayaks and canoes, and I think there was a paddle board, they were stored over there. But for the price we paid to stay here, I truly believe they should have been taken out for us because they were covered and spiders and ants and every other creature you could imagine and we had to thoroughly clean them out before we got in them uh, so I did not enjoy that part. <laughs> so we decided to walk up the road towards the hot tub path. Um, this was a little deceiving on the website, the Airbnb, because it made it look like each cottage had their own hot tub, whereas it was just a single hot tub and you had to book a time slot for it. Uh, we did have a time slot booked, but we didn't end up using it anyway, so it really didn't affect us much. But just for other people who think they are going to have their own hot tub, that is not the case. Uh, there was lights guiding all the way to the hot tub in case uh, you were going there in the nighttime, which is a nice feature. Overall, it was really, really nice. I think it might have been just because on their Airbnb website, they had multiple pictures, like different angles of the hot tub. And the way they worded it, I don't know. But either way, there's just one hot tub. But there also is a sauna in the back. Uh, that is extra. So this is the second location for a fire pit. It's just on the other side of the trees where the kayaks were. We never used this one. We used the other one instead, uh, just because it was closer to our cottage but still a really nice area. Well, you're just looking out the window and that right there, I think is a bison. Okay, I meant to say bull, I think, but I really don't know what it was. Um, it was kind of weird. Eight eighteen. That is the time. It's still kind of bright out, but it's getting darker. Um, Nathan's cooking some food on the barbecue. We did bring our own food in a cooler, but they have a mini fridge. So we brought some salad stuff. He brought some meats. I brought my veggie meats, all milk, drinks. They gave complimentary drinks as well. mind the mess but they gave they have a coffee maker a kettle lots of pans and pots all your silverware oh and a toaster oven the bathroom they supply towels face cloths all that they have complimentary Shampoos and conditioners, I guess, if you forget your own, but I would suggest bringing your own. Oh! 
Oh, that looks really nice. Um, let's see. Oh, it changes the color of it. That's so cool. See? That's cool. Oh, and the brightness. This is really cool. Does it come off? I don't know what I'm hitting. That was good. So it is the next day. We just had breakfast and we're getting ready now. My grandparents will be here today. They're coming. We invited them. So uh, yeah, it's not nice out at all. It's still pretty foggy. And we wanted to go kayaking. But, well now you can kind of see the island over there, but before we couldn't, so we didn't want to go, just in case we couldn't find our way back. But we're probably going to do that before they come. Um, yeah, last night was insanely dark. It was actually kind of creepy. You couldn't see anything. It was so foggy, so there was no stars or anything like that. Uh, we didn't really do a whole lot because we couldn't go out and have a fire. There was a fire ban in Nova Scotia, but today it got lifted. So I'm hoping that tonight we will have a fire. Um, as long as we can get some wood. I asked my grandfather to bring some, but I don't know if he's gonna. Other than that, um, the place is pretty good. The You get Wi-Fi here. But it's awful. There's no cell phone reception. Uh, they do provide satellite TV. That doesn't work either. I couldn't even get the fireplace channel on. You don't really need TV or like cell phone service out here because it's you're supposed to be relaxing. But if you do have things to do and or people to message, it's probably not gonna happen. So if we do go kayaking later, I'm too scared to bring the camera out with me because if something happens that was that's just a lot of money so I'm gonna film with my iPhone These fish just kind of came to the shoreline swimming around our ankles. I kind of want to catch one, but I'm scared too. So this is the area in the nighttime and then in the daytime when we had the kayaks out. Overall, the trip was really cloudy and foggy. It kept rolling in and out. We had like two minutes of sunshine when we finished kayaking, but it was still nice. And it is now time to leave so we had an overall good trip it was really relaxing oh and there's the cat if you could see him there oh there he is <laughs> don't let him in the cat or the cottage they said that in their Airbnb uh, itinerary but I think that's their main house not sure that might be the B&B as well we did really enjoy our time here, but I probably wouldn't come back just because of the price. And uh, also you can't check in until 4 p.m. and then check out to 11 a.m. So I feel like you're missing out almost on a full day even though you're paying the same price. To get here from Sydney, it was about an hour and 15 minutes. We took the Fleur de Lis trail. So Gabarus and then Forshoe and then eventually hitting Saint Esprit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helps you find where you might like to go on Cape Breton Island. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks.